It's so Texas. Pickled chilies and au gratin potatoes. The woodshed burger with chopped brisket, today's sausage. Yeah. Can we add something really quick with you? The um, tamales. Yeah. It's a friend. That's a friend. We don't bite our friends. Don't bite your friends. Don't bite your friends. And kids, you can sing this song and apply it to yourself. Because uh, I've been bitten a lot. I've probably been bitten by at least 16 or 17 animals. And, uh, and about three or four people. Hurry alive. All roads are back to you. Oh, 
pork rib meat. Uh, it has like a smoky flavor to it. Smoky flavor? What about the sauce? It's not a lot of meat. It's more of the masa than anything else. So they're skimping on the masa? No. I mean on the meat? Yeah, you can see, see how much is like the breading, the masa. Then they only have like a little bit of the meat on the inside. Oh, wow. You're right. What is the sauce? Spicy tomatillo crema. Okay, now I'm going to try the tamale. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. What? Chicken fried steak? Yeah. Better be. This is a, the so, breading it's is a really celebrity good. chef restaurant. Remember? Oh, yeah. The, it is? The breading is actually really good. And the steak is good too. You said it is? This is chef a, Tim yeah, this, Love. Who? Tim Love. Western. Oh yeah, executive chef several Fort Worth area restaurants, including the White Elephant and the Love Shack. So, what show was he on? Uh, Anyways, celebrity chef Tim Love. Mm, this food's kind of a big deal. So, the food's I, actually the, really good. Tumor. The jalapenos are like really good on this. This other little pickled whatnots <laughs> and the. Uh, <laughs> The pickled whatnot. The pickled whatnot. The little garnish. The stuff on top, like the pickled onion. The grilled onion, whatever that is. Adds like a lot of like. Um, well, everything tastes good. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Adds like a lot of flavor. Yeah. Has a lot of flavor. Can you put me a bite? Yes, you know. Feed me. It's a big bite. Spicy. That's good. It's not bad, huh? I like it. Chip. Jalapeno gravy. Yeah. With jalapenos on top. Yeah. I like jalapenos. Come on, baby. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be gratin. Au gratin, yeah. I thought au gratin was like the, the potatoes. That are sliced. Those are more like mashed potatoes with just cheese on it. I think gratin, I don't know what gratin is. The sliced potatoes? I think it's different. Usually potatoes au gratin is sliced potatoes. But these are more like a mashed potato with like cheese on it. A lot of cheese. It's a lot of cheese. Yeah, a lot of cheese. Yeah, so they're more like a mashed potato yeah. with cheese on top. But we're not experts on food, so maybe that's a way of doing. Maybe gratin means cheese. I think maybe it's a style of like milk and cheese. Fromage is cheese. In French, yeah. Brown's not French? I don't know. Look it up. Google. Google. -ay. I think they should rena rename this though. This potato meal. Want to know what they should rename it to? What? The dad joke. Because it's so cheesy. <laughs> okay, I see it, but no. The dad joke. Even though they're not like got ground potatoes like you think of, like they still taste really good. They do still taste good. 
you can't go wrong with like a shit ton of cheese. Tasty dad joke. So tasty. It's so, so Texas. Texas. So, tell them what that means. What? It's so Texas. It's so Texas is a Scandinavian term for crazy, bewildered, wild. Texas is synonymous with chaos in that part of Europe. So when they say it's so Texas, it's like so wild, so crazy. So we started saying that sometimes. But you have to say it like, say it like What? It's so old Texas. <laughs> so this is a smokehouse burger. Okay, so is it good? It's definitely better with the barbecue sauce. That's good. The mustard doesn't go with it. they're known for that particular dish. Right. And but ramen I would still... is like literally like noodles. It's not just noodles. Noodles is like the base. That's like saying a burrito is just a tortilla. 
But you don't even like paying for ramen when it's like thirteen dollars at another ramen joint. I mean, in twenty twenty two, I do because like thirteen dollars ain't like really thirteen dollars anymore. <laughs> and then they also had a banh mi taco, which oh, is yeah. Vietnamese. Bon and then they had a Thai. They had a Thai thing too. They have something on the menu that's Thai related. But I just thought that was pretty Vietnamese. cool. Oh, and then they have the bulgogi tacos. So bulgogi, bulgogi is Korean. I do see a lot of like Korean Mexican fusions. Yeah, we do. So it just goes well with barbecue. Hey, where's the barbecue? So if you're feeling adventurous, keep chewing on it. on it. So if you're feeling adventurous and you want to try something besides like traditional something barbecue, new, for sure. then yeah, come here and you can try like those Asian inspired dishes. Yep. For us, I kind of like to stick to the traditional stuff, like to at least try off for the first time, and then the next time we come, we can try something different. Some replay value. Texas with a twist. What was that? Texas with a twist. Texas with a twist. But honestly, this place is actually really good, considering you have a beautiful view of the river. Live music. Yep, Your right dog gets second. to come. Yep. And, and she they gets have, a bone. And she, you can get her a bone or some treats. Which another thing, though, I do have to say is that the menu said that there was like six different choices for the dogs. And when I got here, I said I asked for the dog menu, and she literally was just like, "We have this or this." And I'm like, "Oh." That's kind of lame. I wanted to see like a full menu and it was like verbally told to me. So I didn't even get to see prices. I had to ask, which I feel like is kind of tacky having to ask for prices. Cause you know, even if you're rich, I guess, like you still want to know like how much something is before you pay for it. So um, I just don't think that's very like- Classy. Classy, yeah, to be able, to, I should be able to like look at a menu and not have to ask for so that was there is a pub menu but she just didn't bring it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is the menu she never brought me the menu. Okay, so baby is crying and I think we have wrapped up our meal. Luna is still eating her bone. Luna. Hi. How's your bone? How's your bone, Luna girl? Let's see. Can I see your bone? Can I see your bone? Oh, look at it. Look at what you did. Look at what you did. What do you think of that? Bone appetite. Bone appetite, Luna. It looks like a tamale. Yeah, kind of. All that bone marrow on the inside. Yeah. So, if Luna enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. This is the peppers that they're kind of going back and forth, barking at each other. But. Definitely like yeah, it. Check this. Really yeah, well. she don't want any strawberry cobbler with ice cream. Oh. We're good. She's telling us we gotta go. Yeah, she's telling us we gotta go. <laughs> Mr. Woffington. It's because he wants her bone. He wants to bone? He wants her bone. He wants to bone. Her, but she should be saying she wants his bone. She don't want his bone. She's too young. She's not too young. I don't even know what a bone hi, is. Hi puppy. Hi baby. Hi. She's nice. Okay. She's not afraid of dogs at all. Oh, that's good. <laughs> hi baby. Probably smells her puppy. That's uh, <laughs> She's just excited. How so cute. All right, Luna. Luna Bob. How many thumbs up? How many paws? How many paws? <laughs> I'd come back. Okay. Luna, did you have fun? That's what I thought. Yeah, All right, guys. We'll see you next time. buffet of tamales. I don't know. Tamale day!